Good morning. Here we are kicking off the uh, Saginaw River Michigan Walleye Tour 2024 season. It is ready to go. Uh, as you can see behind me, boats are getting in the water. We're getting staged, ready for a 7:30 send off this morning. Um, you know, glad to be back in uh, in Bay City, out of Bangor Township here at uh, Independence Park. Uh, we're actually backed up this year. We're going to kind of weigh in over by the. Uh, USS Edson here to the Naval Ship Museum. If you haven't ever seen that, make sure you come check it out. Uh, it's a really cool uh, historical landmark here in Saginaw. But uh, this year we have got uh, 70 full season teams. That's a about a 20 team increase, just a little less than 20 team increase from last year. And uh, so super excited to have a lot of anglers that signed up to be with us the entire season at all our stops. Uh, I'm real happy to have them along and then full field today, 150 boats. Uh, just an amazing turnout and uh, really appreciate all the anglers teams and all the local communities supporting us everywhere we go. 2024 season, let's go. Corey Palacio. Um, I'm from Flushing, Michigan. Um, I've been fishing the uh, MWT for about three years now. What a great place and a great group of guys to uh, to hang out with and uh, and to fish together with. Um, we're out here uh, on the Saginaw River, our first stop, uh, vertical jigging. Um, hoping that we can put uh, five good fish in the boat. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, some of the tactics, or not only tactics, but uh, some of the baits we're using are just uh, uh, round ball jig head with uh, split tail minnow, uh, finesse minnow is what they call them. Um, just kind of pulling them across the bottom and hoping that the big fish eat. Cat, darn it. <laughs> Fishing was really good. We uh, landed multiple seven to um, nine pound fish. Um, we had some rain come in uh, Thursday, I believe it was, and uh, it uh, it's dirtied up the water come Saturday. The turbidity is a little high, um, but I think uh, I think if we grind it out in this uh, this spot here, we'll be able to do pretty good. Um, I have a fear that Sunday she's gonna she's gonna get a little bit dirtier. <laughs> the mud's gonna start rolling down, so um, hopefully we can put together a good bag today and. Uh, and uh, keep her on a roll for tomorrow. Well, we're on the Saginaw River today, almost up to Saginaw, uh, fishing a little drift that we found during pre-fishing this week. Nothing's been wonderful, but um, probably like the most consistent spot that we've had. Um, gonna try and jig up a couple fish. Goal of the day is to get our five fish in the boat. You know, it'd be nice if they had some weight behind them, but we'll we'll see. Tough tough conditions this week fishing. We've been out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We fished in another tournament last weekend. Um, we found them then, but it seems like it's kind of been like a grind for everybody. So I guess we'll see. And how are the water conditions today? Uh, you like chocolate milk? <laughs> that's about that's about all I can explain it as. <laughs> Fishing is tough. Super windy, cold. The water is mud, like three, four inches of visibility at most. So it's tough just trying to find the right colors and get some kind of a program going. They're here, we just gotta figure them out. We're gonna go try some different chocolate milk waters. <laughs> I think we're gonna go back down river, get us a little bit closer to the launch and maybe try one of our backup spots. Cause I mean, there's a lot of good boats up here fishing and everything, but I think we've maybe only seen what two fish get caught. Well, I mean, I caught one. <laughs> if you count a little fish stick as one. Um, go see if we can find some fish. Not a walleye. <laughs> Great idea, Kaylee. <laughs> yep. Not the right kind. <laughs>
Designed for deep water and big waves, the Skeeter WX series offers no compromise performance, and the Solera series brings the whole family together. Proven with 21 consecutive NMMA Consumer Satisfaction Awards. When you're ready to rule the water regardless of the conditions, the WX series will take you where you want to go in style, comfort, and safety. Bringing your family closer together fishing or skiing, the Solera series can do it all. Skeeter, it's more than just a boat, it's a lifestyle. Well, she's a little slow. She's a little slow. I think I've only seen one fish caught in the last uh, two hours. So, man, I hope the uh, hope it just warms up a little bit and maybe some sun will pop out and get these fish firing. Uh, if that doesn't work out, we're gonna have to make uh, make a couple runs. I uh, started at a real young age with uh, the old man. Um, I was on the bay by the age of five, six, um, trolling and casting with the old man and um, got into uh, got into all the river fishing and going all over the state fishing. He, uh, he's a heck of a fisher. We've had a boat since, uh, since a young age as well, so that made things a lot easier. And um, man, for some reason, the, uh, the walleye, I really enjoy chasing them. They're hard to they're hard to fish for on some days. They're they're a, they're a heck of a species to chase after. Um, and then I guess you know since uh, since the start of it all, you know it's kind of just grew into like a passion, maybe maybe even a little bit of an obsession. But uh, yeah, it's a good time, man. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the people in this tour, the camaraderie of everybody, and uh, I uh, plan to do it for many more years to come, man. Well, we knew it was going to be hard today. We should have got the hand lining equipment out and ready to go, but we decided to jig. It's what we did all week, and we might be paying for that one. <laughs> that happens, though. It's, it's why it's tournament fishing and fishing. Definitely not catching all the time. When did this get so bad? We can't do this anymore. You want to hop on the big motor and push us out so we don't get pushed in? Cause I, I'm not making any <laughs> headway here. I'm just praying for a fish right now. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> it's a fish. One big fish. It'll make a difference. You know, fish with the girls is pretty cool. Um, I know last year we were the first female team, which is hopefully encouraging to other females out there, you know. It's a pretty male dominant sport, especially tournament fishing. So hopefully it inspires some other girls to get out here and give it a shot and, you know, just get out and get some confidence. God dang it! Why? <laughs> These things hate us! Hey, it's a fish. <laughs> Obviously, every morning, hopes start off very high. So we went to one of the spots that we thought was going to produce, and it didn't look like it produced, but maybe for one or two boats. So we kind of jumped around all day, fighting kind of bad weather. Um, I mean, I guess just more so bad wind and poor water conditions fish that don't necessarily want to bite or aren't here. Um, sounded like a couple boats caught some fish and um, you know we still had a good time though. We made it back in one piece. That's always a, a, a plus and um, had fun had fun doing it. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. Got a five fish limit folks our first limit. Alright let's see what we got. There we go, 18 point, 8, 7, great catch bench, roll through those bigger ones. We got a couple of nice job around the plow, that's it, I'll tell you what, a five fish limit today, folks, uh, is something special to have. You know, here in Michigan, pre-spawn walleye fishing can be some of the best walleye fishing you'll ever experience, but a couple things can make it tough. Rising or lowering water, big winds, heavy current, and dirty water. Well. 
Here at day one of the Saginaw Bay Michigan Walleye Tour, we've got falling water, we've got dirty water, we've got big wind, and we've got heavy current, and the weigh-ins show that we had 83 zeros today out of 150 teams. Our uh, leading team is a little over 23 pounds. We had four baskets over 20. Now, big fish was 10.65, and we had three fish over eight pounds in our top three in our big fish. So there are still big fish in the system and you still can get a big basket, but we saw a lot of guys come with one or two fish. Again, we had 83 zeros. We are faced with tough conditions. Because the wind is blowing from the south, we're getting the river is actually dropping, pushing water out to Saginaw Bay. That makes it tough. We've got cold weather. I don't think it got above 40 degrees today. We've got high winds, gusts out on the bay over 40 miles an hour today with consistent mid 20s. We've got dirty water and it just makes everything tough for these pre-spawn fish. But a lot of teams figured it out and they'll be back out here tomorrow. Now, the good news is it's going to be windier colder and dirtier tomorrow. We're talking about high temperatures up to with only 34 tomorrow, so we're gonna be faced with a lot of cold. We got winds coming. They're gonna kick up around 22, 25 with gusts up to 40. And on my way up today to do the MC, and I crossed two rivers that actually feed into the Saginaw and they were both high and very, very muddy. So the challenge was tough today. It's gonna be tougher tomorrow. But one thing I know about these guys and these girls that are fishing, Someone's going to figure it out tomorrow. Tough day one. We'll see you back here tomorrow for day two. I promise you somebody's going to get on fish. Can't wait to see what happens. Do it. <laughs> So right now we're in the Saginaw River and this area is what they call the turnaround because it's the end of the shipping channel for the ships and it's where they turn around. So uh, we're just fishing the break and pre-fishing we found a spot that was very small in the turn in regards to where the fish were actually laying. And uh, as you can see from our graph, we literally just hit the same spot over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and Yesterday it seemed to work out. We you know, are in the lead right now and just hoping we can uh, capitalize on some bites today. So what we're doing is we're doing a technique called hand lining. Hand lining is a technique that uh, originated at the Detroit River. And what it is, it's a, it's a technique for river fishing where there's a bunch of current uh, to get your lures down deep. So what it is, is there's a wire here in our hands and it's attached to a weight and that weight has a, what is called a shank on it, which has a bunch of hooks on it. And we hook leaders up to them. And then we have floating Rapalas down in the bottom, so it has your baits just fluttering around the bottom in front of those fish. Uh, it's a very good technique when the water is dirty, because what it does is it puts the lures in front of the fish's face at a, for a longer period of time. I started fishing the Michigan Walleye Tour um, in 2004. Um, my partners here are quite a bit younger than I am, uh, a good 14, 15 years younger. Um, I used to fish uh, back when it was a two-person team uh, back in the day and mainly uh, we didn't fish the Saginaw River a whole lot. It was uh, typically Detroit River and most of the tournaments were on the Saginaw Bay due to the fact obviously it's the Saginaw Bay Walleye Club. I started fishing with Chris. Uh, basically last year I've known uh, Chris for probably about 14 years now. Um, and uh, this is the first time the three of us have fished together this year and uh, basically put together a good pre-fishing uh, for, this, for this tournament so far. And uh, hopefully uh, we get five fish today. Update is we're sitting at zero. Um, and it sounds like most everybody on the water is sitting at zero as well. We've only heard of two fish caught so far. So it's, uh, it's pretty slow. You have to love March fishing weather. Happens in April though too, but we're still having a good time.
Uh, my name's Kyle Dahl. I've um, yep. been fishing the walleye tour for about three years now. Um, we're at the first stop, Saginaw, day two. Um, yesterday turned in 18 pounds, big fish at 10, 6, 5. Tough bite, really cold out, muddy water. Um, a lot of the fields struggled. We did we did all right yesterday. We're trying to duplicate that today. Let's see how it goes. Early spawn, we're jigging with half ounce um, Wally Gator jigs um, behind um, wine dot lure wine dot worms. Um, gives a good presentation. Um, right now, we're using a bright jig head with a black body. Shows up pretty good in the mud. Really slow right now, so trying to entice a good bite here. Catfish. Needed it to be a walleye. Was my uh, hook set better that it time? It was. Guys? It was way better that time. He's putting fish in the boat today. If it was a catfish tour, we might be doing all right this week. My name's Jeff Fullerton. We're on the Michigan walleye tour here in Saginaw Bay. Day one, we did pretty good. As I say we because I didn't catch any of the fish, Kyle did. And it's been I this and I that, but. So we got 18 pounds, we're in about seventh place. Looked at the slow bite today, but nobody's catching fish, so hopefully we'll be in the money. That helps us a ton, Joe, good job. Whew, that did say he breaks the ice. Whew, good job, Joe. He's got stingers on the stinger. Hey, Chris, I think they moved down here on this side of the river. We finally got one. Uh, we switched from hand lining over to jigging, just jigging low and slow, and uh, we got our first fish in the boat. So we have some time, and uh, we're in a little bit higher spirits now. Sometimes the old man on the boat's got to come through for the team. <laughs> Joe's usually not the old man. No. <laughs> we have about 20 minutes left to fish. And the good news is, is we did not zero, but we did not do very good. So we definitely think we'll, ca we'll, we'll cash a pretty good check still from our day one weight. But it doesn't look like it was in, our, in the cards for us today. But that's all right. We'll get it next time. Oh, one fish, we're not going to risk being... We're not going to risk being late for it to weigh it in. been a slow bite and now we're now we're sitting in snow went from 70 degrees earlier this week to uh snowing so quite a fun uh change in weather here for everybody and look at this muddy water it's absolutely horrible no visibility it's, it's a tough one dang it ah that fish again Alrighty, back uh, back where we started here today on uh, probably the slowest day of fishing I think I may have ever had. Um, got cold, started snowing, um, so we came back uh, back down uh, down river here to see see if we couldn't pick up a couple. We saw a couple guys pick some up before uh, weigh in yesterday, so we figured we'd come back and give this a try because everything else is not seeming to to work today. So. See if we can pick a couple up with an hour left, and uh, if not, we'll be sticking with our weight from yesterday. This, this hopefully it's a walleye. Staying down like this, I need it to be a walleye. Come on, baby. No, it's not. It's a sheephead. It's a sheephead. Uh, 12.82, gonna get you on the board. Again, more importantly, you guys know about 
getting points to get to a championship. Uh, more importantly, you got some pretty good points. Yeah, desperately needed to. <laughs> well, that's a wrap for our first tournament of 2024 here at the Michigan Wildlife Tour on the Saginaw River. And you know, these anglers were faced with everything. Bad weather, high winds, dirty water, lowering water on the first day, rising water on day two, lots of mud in the water and just a tough fishery. Yesterday on day one, we had uh, four or five fish limits with two of those bags, or three of those bags, excuse me, over 20. Today we had two five fish limits and only one bag over 20. Now big fish stayed the same, a little over 10 pounds both days, but that just kind of shows you what these things, 150 boats, and we only had four five fish limits. That tells you how tough the conditions were. What we always find out when we come to these tournaments is no matter how bad the fishing is, somebody's going to figure out the right bite. Sometimes it's only 40 pounds over two days. Sometimes it may be 100 pounds over two days, but these are some of the best anglers the state has to offer, and they're going to figure it out. Paying attention to details, staying on fish, finding fish with your sonar, and not leaving fish in these tough conditions, grinding out by jigging, casting, and trolling crankbaits in the way that the winning team put together their pattern. Make sure that you have everything in your arsenal when you're faced with tough conditions. Look for that one key bite, find that good spot, and you're going to catch fish. That's what we learned this weekend on the Saginaw Bay, Saginaw River, Michigan Wally Tour. Looking forward to seeing everybody in a few weeks down in Detroit. They had 22, 8, 9 yesterday. They were in second place. They need 12, 9, 6 to take the lead. Let's see what we got. There you go. There we go. 15, 9, 0. Our new first place team. Way to go. Grab some of those fish. Slide over here. Let's take some pictures. Way to go, guys. Hey, we are here at the Saginaw River Tournament here in March, St. Patrick's Day uh, 2024. We're here on the Saginaw River with our first place team, Mike Dickerson, Jason Gallagher, Scott Shelagowski. You guys had a great weekend concerning the conditions, 38.79 pounds, dealing with wind, dealing with rough water, dealing with water down yesterday, up today, dirty water, lots of things going on. Talk a little bit about the kind of places that you were fishing to catch the fish to win. Um, we tried to just key in on spots, slack water spots, where the fish wanted to get out of that current um, because it was just flowing so fast. As a lot of guys will say, they haven't seen current like that on yeah. the Saginaw River in a long time. So obviously them fish push over to the bank. So we stayed along the edges and, and hit all them slack water spots as we moved on down. So you're fishing shallow water. You talked a little bit about how important your electronics were. Talk a little bit about using side scan and kind of finding these fish in shallow water. Um, even before the guys showed up for pre-fish, I was living on side scan all week, just going, scanning fish, seeing where they were at, and then targeting those fish. So we got bad conditions, tough conditions. We know it's going to be a tough bite. Was it a case of just, you knew the fish were there, we just stay there and grind out? Or were you guys popping from spot to spot? I trusted the uh, Lawrence <laughs> and just ground and ground and ground. I mean, we only fish, what, two spots, guys? And um, we just ground on them. We trusted our electronics, and we all kept each other in there together, yeah. and it really was a team effort. How deep of water were you fishing? And talk about your presentations a little bit. Um, we were doing everything from jigging. We were about nine foot. We were jigging. We were pitching to them with various hair jigs, um, plastics, uh, rip and wraps, and then uh, when that died, um, Jay was actually like, hey man, let's just do some flat line. I'm, you know, we brought the stuff, we talked about it last night. If it went flat, we were gonna start doing some trolling up on the flats. We pulled out them church TX-12s that I love. Um, we threw some cranks behind there and uh, boom, three bites later, we had four fish. And I talked to you at like noon, we yep, had one yep, fish. Yep. Um, the water was rising. A lot of the stuff we could see, the structure wise, had changed and uh, we just, we got four bites, baby. How's this feel? <laughs> All right, guys, really congratulations, great work. Appreciate you guys, uh, long time coming. Uh, enjoy this one, we'll see you guys down in Detroit. Thanks, Lance. Bye, guys.